Hi science students, welcome back for another day of digital learning. Today we're going to focus on acids and bases and the properties that they have. So we're going to click in here. Acids and bases are all around us from the things we eat and drink to the soap we wash with. While many substances are acids or bases, some are neutral and we can classify acids and bases by their different properties. So we're going to look at three different substances. You will discover the properties of acids, bases, and neutral substances by testing an example of each. Then you will use the information to classify some substances as acidic, basic, or neutral. So what you're going to have is a table that you need to fill in in your Google Doc. It'll look just like this where there's a section for acids, a section for neutral substances, and a section for bases. Make sure that as you go, you are recording. <clears throat> the three substances we're going to look at are hydrochloric acid, water, and lime water, which is going to be a solution of calcium hydroxide in water. We're going to use these four tests that you see, blue litmus paper, red litmus paper, phenylphthalein, and metal. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to choose my hydrochloric acid, and I'm going to start with my blue litmus paper. When I dip my blue litmus paper in, I see that it changes colors. So I'm going to select blue litmus paper turns red, and I'm going to save this to my property table. I'm going to see it pop up there. Make sure you've recorded this into your table on your Google Doc before moving on. Pause the video if you need to do so. I'm going to then use my red litmus paper. When I dip it in, I notice nothing really happens. So I'm going to click stays red and I'm going to save that to my property table. I'm going to click on my phenylphthalein and when I drop it in, I can see that it dissipates and it kind of disappears. It's not colorful. So I'm going to click on remains colorless and add it to my property table. Again, pause the video if you need to in order to record these into your Google Doc. And then lastly, I'm going to use these metals. When I dip the metal in, I drop it in, I can see bubbles being released. So I'm going to click that. Hydrogen bubbles are released and I'm going to add it to my property table. Right now I have four properties about acids. I'm going to move on to a neutral substance, distilled water, and I'm going to conduct the same test. I dip my blue paper in, and I notice that it stays blue. I dip my red litmus paper in, and I see that it doesn't turn blue, it stays red. <clears throat> my next test, I notice that it stays colorless. And lastly, I'm going to drop in a piece of metal, and I see no change. Notice that this didn't impact any of the indicators we were using when we had a neutral substance of distilled water. Lastly, we're going to use a base. So I'm going to dip my blue litmus paper. It stays blue. I'm going to dip my red litmus paper. I see that it turns blue. My next test, it changes colors. It turns pink. And then I'll drop in my piece of metal. I see no change. So you've tested all three substances. Make sure you've recorded everything from the acids, neutrals, and bases into your Google Doc before moving on. Pause the video if you need to. The properties of acids, neutrals, and bases have been added to the table below. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at these six substances 
and you need to find out if they are acids, bases, or neutrals. Some of them we may recognize, but I want you to test just to double check that you're correct. So let's start with baking soda. I'm going to start with my blue litmus. When I dip it in, I see that it stays blue. I'm going to do my red litmus. It turns blue. The phenyl flaline, it turns pink. And then lastly, I'm going to drop in my metal. And I see no change. So now what I need to do is look at look at both my solution and my properties. So I see that it remains blue, it turns blue, it turns pink, it has no change. So I want to look over here first. Acids, does it change blue to red? This says it remains blue, so it can't be that. Neutrals, don't change, remains blue. So that's correct, let's keep going. The red litmus paper doesn't change, it stays red, but this says it turns blue, so it cannot be neutral. And lastly, it says don't change blue litmus, remains blue, that's correct. But then also the next one says it changes the red litmus to blue, correct. The indicator turns deep pink, same, correct, and does not react with most metals. So I can tell that this is absolutely a base. Let's go on to our next substance. Sugar solution, I'm going to put my blue litmus paper in. I see no change, it stays blue. I'm going to put my red litmus paper in. It stays red. I'm going to put my next test in. It stays colorless. And I'm going to drop in some metal. I'm going to see that the hydrogen does not cause anything to happen. So I'm looking again. It remains blue. It remains red. It stays colorless. It has no change. To me, that sounds a lot like a neutral. So I want to double check. It remains blue. It remains red. It remains colorless. It does not react. This is a neutral. Ammonia. When I dip in my blue, I see that it stays blue. When I dip in my red, I see that it turns blue. When I dip in my phenylphthalein, I see that it turns pink. And then when I drop in a metal, I see no change. That bright pink indicator should really tip me off that this is a base. Because acids and neutrals do not change and turn pink. The next substance is lemon juice. I'm going to put in my blue litmus paper and I see that it turns red. I'm going to put in my red litmus paper and I'm going to see that it stays red. I'll put in my phenophthalein. I'm going to notice it stays colorless. And then I'm going to drop in some metal. And I can see those bubbles. Those bubbles, when I drop in the metal, should tip me off that this is an acid because the acid is the only one that reacts with metal. I'm 
I'm going to do hand soap, which a lot of us are using these days. Blue litmus paper. Stays blue. Red litmus paper. Stays red. Then a phthalene. Stays colorless. The metal has no change. I know if it doesn't react in any of these categories, that this must be neutral. And I would have to guess that this hand soap must be made of a lot of water because otherwise soap often is a base. Our last substance, vinegar, I'm going to put in my blue litmus and it's going to turn red. I'm going to put in my red litmus and it's going to stay the same. I'm going to put in my phenolphthalein. It's going to remain colorless. And lastly, I'm going to drop in some metal and see some bubbles being released. Those bubbles tell me that this must be an acid. And that's everything we have. Acids turn litmus red while phenophthalein stays colorless. They can react with zinc, which is a type of metal. Neutral substances are neither acidic nor basic. These substances do not change color in any of the indicators and they do not react with the metal. Bases turn litmus blue and phenophthalein pink. Bases do not react with zinc. That's everything we have for you today. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.